Hello friends and welcome to another yoga class. I hope you're ready to practice. Stand with your feet hip distance apart, your toes straight ahead and your hands in prayer. Take some deep breaths here in through your nose and out through your nose. Slow deep breath in, long deep breath out. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, bring your hands back together in prayer. Inhale, reach your arms up again. This time on your exhale, forward fold. Come all the way down, try to touch your toes. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins, and exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, bring your hands together in prayer. This time we'll go into full sun salutation. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down, touch your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog this time. Plant your hands, lift your hips up and back. Take your feet hip distance apart or as wide as your mat. Spread your fingers wide shoulder distance apart or as wide as your mat. You can pedal out your legs a couple times. Just keep breathing, relax your head, and then shift forward into a plank. Lower halfway into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Point your toes into your mat, lift your thighs. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Take a breath here, maybe two. <laughs> and then look forward to your hands. Walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands at your heart. We'll try it one more time. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Try to touch your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step back to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Take about three breaths here. Feel free to pedal your knees or shake out your head. Get some tiny movements here. And then inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, find your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, lift your right leg up into the air, bend your knee, give it a stretch, and then switch sides. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, and drop it back down. Walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, stretch your arms over your head, reach up. Exhale, hands in prayer. This time, step your feet wider than your hips. Open up into warrior two. So your right toes are towards the right side or the short end of your mat. Bend your right knee, look towards your right fingertips. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We take about three deep breaths here. Take longer if you'd like. And then move into reverse warrior. Bend your right knee, reach your right arm up, come into a side bend, look up to your thumb. And then side angle pose. Rest your right forearm on your thigh. Stretch your left arm up to the sky. And you can look up to your thumb. Another option is to reach your left arm across your ear, with the palm of your hand towards the ground. Inhale, warrior two, come back up. And then exhale, move into warrior two on the other side. So just flip your toes here. So your left toes are towards the left side or other short end of your mat. Roll your left knee to your pinky toe. Draw your belly in. Find a strong warrior here. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up this time. Little to know it on your back hand, you can look towards your back heel or up towards your thumb. Just look where your neck is comfortable. It's a little bit different for everyone. And then side angle pose. What we do in one side in yoga, we repeat on the other side. So either reach your right arm up to the sky or reach your arm across your ear. Whatever you did on the other side, repeat. And to come out of this, inhale, warrior two, come back up. Exhale, step your feet together. This time we'll go into a lunge. So I like to put my hands on my hips for this, but step your left foot back and into a high lunge. Make sure your right toes are straight ahead, your back heel is lifted. Sink down into your lower body and then bring your hands down, lower to your back knee. Shift your hips forward, pull your right hip back, breathe here, deep breath in, deep breath out. Make sure your hips are squared to the top of your mat, right hip back, left hip forward. If you need a balance challenge, you can look up and then step forward. Try it on the other side. So your right leg steps back, left toe straight ahead, sink down into your lower body, breath in, breath out. And then hands to your hips or to your knee, lower to your right knee and come back up. If you have any knee pain, an option is to keep your back toe tucked or keep a towel nearby to pad your back knee. For a balance challenge, look up to your thumbs and then come back up. Lift your back knee, step forward. We're gonna put it all together now, sun salutations and the standing poses. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, reach up, 
Exhale, forward fold. This is a half sun salutation. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up. Exhale, hands in prayer. For the full sun salutation, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And then we'll vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Find your yogi push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands. Lower to your back knee this time. So in your crescent moon or low lunge, hips forward. Tuck your back toes. Come into your crescent lunge with your back knee lifted this time. Take a breath here. And then open up to warrior two. So your right toe stays straight ahead. Line up your feet heel to arch. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm up. Look up to your thumb or towards your back heel. And into side angle pose. Right forearm to your thigh. Left arm up to the sky or cross your ear. Take a breath here. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Vinyasa if you feel like it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon, reach up. Hold and breathe. To come up, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. High crescent lunge. So lift your arms, but sink down into your lower body again. Straighten your back leg. Open up into warrior two. Spin your back heel down, light up your feet heel to arch. Look to your left fingertips. Breath in. Reverse warrior, reach your left arm up. Look towards your back heel or up to your thumb. Take another breath here. And then side angle pose. Bring your left forearm to your thigh, right arm up to the sky. Lean back like you're against a wall. Or reach across your ear. Keep rolling your top shoulder back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then come down to your hands and knees into child's pose. I like to bring big, big toes together and knees wide. Take a few resting breaths here. Slow down your breath. You're welcome to stay longer. If you're ready to come up, move to seated. So the first option is that you can cross your legs. Second option is called double pigeon. Stack your ankles and your knees. This is number one, double pigeon. Or a second option, cross your legs. So if one doesn't work, pick the other one. I'm gonna do fire logs today or double pigeon. Stack your ankles and your knees. Flex your toes and walk your hands forward and fold. You're welcome to stay up as well. Let's take five deep breaths here. Slow deep breath in through your nose. Long deep breath out through your nose. This gets into your outer hips. That space that is difficult to stretch but gets so tight after sitting for long periods of time or driving. Come back up, switch out the leg. So cross your left leg in front of your right leg. Or double pigeon, fire log, stack your ankles and your knees. One knee, knee might be really up, that's okay. You can stay up and use your hand to gently press it down. Or keep the length through your spine and fold. Soften your face, soften your jaw here. Reconnect to your breath. Find some surrender. Let go. Very slowly. Make your way back up to seated. And you can lean back to stretch out your legs, bounce your knees a couple times. And then this time lie on your back. So you can bend your knees, rest your hands beside your hips. Look at one spot on the ceiling, or I guess up at the sky in my case. <laughs> Feet hip distance apart, lift your hips up into a bridge. Hands beside you, or you can try to interlace your hands underneath you. Press your heels down, lift your hips up, stay there or work into a full back bend wheel pose. We take about eight breaths in our bridge or in our wheel pose. And then slowly lower down, crown of your head first for wheel, hips down for bridge, and then rest either with feet together, knees wide. This is bound angle. One hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Or another option is knees together and feet wide. Close your eyes, soften your face, soften your jaw. Try to return to your natural breath. We'll move towards our final pose. So take this time to 
slow down. And then with your feet wide, move into windshield wipers. Drop your knees to the right and to the left. Just go side to side a few times. Release your lower back. And we'll move into a twist. So you'll drop your knees over to your right side. Pick up your right foot and cross your right foot on top of your left thigh. You can also do eagle legs here or stack your knees, but look in the opposite direction of your knees to deepen your twist. Take a few breaths into your left side. And you can uncross your feet. Take this twist to the other side. Drop your knees to the left. Pick up your left foot, cross your left foot over your right thigh to deepen your twist. Look in the opposite direction of your knees. Slow down your breath. And then take your time, slowly uncross your legs, roll onto your back, give yourself a big hug. Great job, you made it this far. Stretch your legs out, arms down to your sides with palms up, close your eyes and rest. And I recommend about five minutes. But for this short video, we'll just take about five to 10 breaths. To come out of this, very slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. You can also circle your wrists and your ankles. Gently roll to one side. I like to make a pillow out of my hands. Take a breath there and then come up to seated. So you can cross your legs, hands in prayer. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.